Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about enabling SMIME encryption in your Zimbra webmail. You can use any of the digital certificates that you buy or is issued by your corporate IT. We support .p12 and .pfx certificates today. In this example, we are going to use a certificate issued from Komodo. So I go to the Komodo website and click on download and put my details here. I need to put a password here and I click on user agreement and then click on next. When I click on next, I receive a dot CRT type certificate on my mail. I will have to convert this CRT certificate into a dot P12 uh, type certificate. Once I have converted that, I go to my Zimra webmail client, I go to my preferences, I go to secure email and I click on browse. I click on browse and I navigate to dot P12 type certificate and click on open. It asks me for a password. I will put the same password that I used uh, that I used during generation of my uh, certificate and click on submit. Once this is submitted, you can just click here on the view option to view your uploaded certificate. You can also define the default settings for every email that you compose. Here I have defined to not sign in encrypt as, a, as the default option. I click on save and I go to my mail, mail tab. Similarly, I have also generated a certificate and imported it for another user in another browser here. So I have uh, two IDs configured uh, with uh, emails uh, to be encrypted and tested. So I go to my new message, I click on to, I send an email to Carlos And if you see, this is my default uh, setting that I had set. I will send this as a signed email. And I click on send. So uh, my mail has been sent uh, to Carlos, uh, his mailbox. And then I go to his mailbox and I click here. You see, the email has been signed by pmathur at zimra.io. So I can view this certificate right here. So this is how you send a signed email. Now, if I have to send an encrypted email, I will have to store the user's public key into my address book. So I go to my uh, mailbox, I go to email contacts, I double click on Carlos and I import Carlos's certificate. And I click on this and I save this. So once I have saved Carlos's certificate, I will again go back to my mail. I click on new message, I click on Carlos this time I will sign and encrypt an email now since I have Carlos's public key I will I will be able to encrypt this email also I click on send and I go back uh, to the Carlos's mailbox double clicking and open this uh, message if you see here this says signed and encrypted by pmathur at zimra.io which means I, this email has been encrypted by this ID so I thank you for watching this video and please feel free if you have any questions uh, for us